Hey, how's it going? So do you want a, a simple way to do some effective keyword research uh, for your YouTube videos? So if you're creating YouTube videos, obviously one of the most important parts of using that strategy to, to grow a business or to grow a brand is the ability to get your videos in front of the people that they actually want to watch it. Now, there's no point spending a lot of time and energy on creating amazing videos and then you don't get any views or you get the wrong type of views, right? The people that aren't a fit for what you offer. And so if you look at my channel, just to prove that I, I know what I'm talking about, obviously you don't want to learn from someone that can My channel, um, you'll see I've got over 1.2 million views on my channel. The majority of the way that I've done that has been effective keyword research and then learning the algorithm of YouTube to get it to position my videos in, in front of uh, you know my perfect viewer. And so if we go back to the main sort of homepage, I'm gonna give you, what have I got for you here? Uh, I've got three different tactics. I'm also gonna share a tool with you that I use. You may see some different sort of tabs on here. That's an optional thing that you can use, but I will show you where there's an advantage there in terms of getting traffic to your videos at, at the end of this one. But let, let, let's dive into this tactic. So the first thing you need to do is understand the questions that your prospect is going to be asking when they are here on YouTube. The beauty of this platform, why I love it so much, is it's a search engine, right? It's not a scroll fest like on social media. It's a genuine bona fide search engine. People are here to find answers to buyer questions. And so if you're building a business or you're building a brand, think about what it is that your audience is on here wanting to know. And so, for example, let's say you're a coach and you are specializing in helping over 40s dads get a, get a flatter stomach, right? So you should understand that audience if that's what you're offering. And if you don't, you need to change your audience. Otherwise, how do you know who to create content for? And so if I come to the search bar, I'm going to put myself in that mindset. I'm an over 40s dad. I, you know, I've put a lot of weight on. What am I thinking about? I'm, I may be thinking, well, I'm busy. I need to work out from home. So um, best home workout for over 40s male. I may go for that, okay? And so I've got a video there, an idea for a video there where I, I say, okay, I can answer that question. I'm specializing in this. And um, this gives me an idea. Now, what I would do, like I said, I'll, I'll come to all of this over here in a little bit later. But what I'm going to do is, and what I recommend that you do, is take a look at your competition. You really want to be in the top five results. And so this first result here, this looks like a huge channel, probably not got much chance against that. So let's go to, this is a second video, third video, fourth video, fifth video. So I'm going to see there that there are some smaller channels with lesser views than, you know, there's some got millions, but there's less, there's some smaller channels there. So that may go on a list of mine to say, okay, that's a potential title. Now, if you find that, oh man, there's just huge competition, what we want to do is start to look at maybe a little bit longer keywords or different options. The beauty of YouTube is the search bar helps us do that. So I might type in overweight dads and see how YouTube has given me suggestions. Overweight, uh, overweight dads, dads for over 40s male. So let's go back even one step further. Let's go dads fitness, dads fitness transformation. So I'm going to type that in. What have we got here? This one's got 19,000 views. So that's not like a lot, a lot, is it? So we've got some opportunity here. Some of these are bigger, but some of these are smaller. So we have an opportunity there. Now we can also go to the search bar, put the cursor next to it. And again, we've got some different options. So this is a manual way for free that with maybe an hour or two, you can play around with the questions that your audience is, is asking and then use the search bar in combination with some kind of starting points. You can start to have YouTube give you some suggestions. Typically, the order at which these suggestions come is the popularity that they are on YouTube. So we would expect like down here, 40 year old body transformation, which would be a great one, right? Should be a little bit less popular than body transformation one month. And so again, you can review the competition and see like where you feel you fit in and where you feel you have a shot of getting in front of the other people that are already on that list. Here's one other way that I'll show you before I show you that tool and explain all of this stuff down the right hand side, which is really, really helpful, especially if you're a smaller channel. 
is to think of the competitors. And so, for example, if we look at this result here, we may start to see, um, is, it, is it Sean Monty pop up a lot? We may see him pop up a lot on these searches and we say, okay, this is a competitor of mine, okay? He's obviously was an overweight dad. I'm guessing he isn't now. So I'm gonna click on his channel. Now, yeah, you can see how he's got in great shape. Right? More about this channel. Body dad body transformation. So yeah, if I am someone who's trying to help dads get in better shape, this would be a competitor of mine. So something that I would do is go to videos. See, I went to the videos tab there and I'd go to popular. Now, chances are, if these are the most popular videos with, I hope I'm pronouncing your name right, Sean's uh, audience, then chances are that your audience would be interested in them from you too. And so we can see here a bunch of transformations just so straight away, that would give me the idea, well, am I overweight? Can I get in better shape? Can I document that? Because this has worked really well. Have I got a client who would agree to that? Maybe I can go to a client who's an over, overweight dad and say, listen, I'd love to give you a discount in exchange for a video diary. That's something I could do. I would also then look down here, look, anabolic diet. So I'm guessing that dads are interested in using an anabolic diet. We can also see uh, a lot of nutritional information. So maybe I'd be somebody who wasn't even thinking about talking much about nutrition, maybe more the workouts. Now I have the idea that, hey, if I start talking about an anabolic diet or more macros and nutrients, there's an opportunity there for some views. So you could do that for maybe two or three competitors, make a list of their top 10 or 20 video titles, and you could look for patterns between them and say, well, all of these channels seem to do really well with these handful of subjects. Obviously, that's then something you could consider doing yourself. And I've stuck with the example of health and fitness, but you could do this in anything. If you're a social media coach, if you're a network marketer looking to, for a particular type of lead, it really doesn't matter. It just begins with you thinking about the questions they're going to ask, looking at the suggestions, looking at the competitors' channels, and straight away you could get a list of 10, 20, 30 topics, and you can then cherry pick the one you feel most confident talking about. Maybe start with like four or five videos and then review your progress after that. Now, I promised I was going to show you this tool, okay, this, uh, this tool that I've got over here, which is really, really useful. So when I'm doing keyword research, I no longer have to do all of those steps. All I do is I think about the topics that I want to teach about, and I think about what my audience would be asking, and then I come to the search bar straight away. And so I help coaches and network marketers get their business in front of the people that actually want it. I do that the majority of the time I teach them my YouTube method. So how to get their, how to make good videos, how to get those videos in front of the right people so they can get a lot of traffic like I have. So what I would do on here is I would say, well, this, this video itself, right? How to do a keyword research for YouTube videos. So I thought of that title, and then what I do is I go over to this tool I've got over here, and then what I do is I click, see where it says click here for weighted? So for now, it's saying 64 out of 100 is my chance of getting traffic for this keyword just in general, if I was just any YouTuber. But if I click here for weighted, what this software now does is it takes into account my particular channel. My channel my audience, the videos I have or haven't done. And it tells me that 100 out of 100, if I do a few basic steps, which this software walks me through as well, I'm probably going to pick up some traffic for this video. And so this is really, really useful because what we can see is that if I go back and I look at the competition for this, you know, we can see here that some of these channels are much larger than mine, right? Some of these channels are larger. And so this may have been a keyword that I discounted, but using the software that actually looks at my specific channel, it goes straight on my piece of paper here, my list, and say, you know what? Yeah, I can definitely do that. Now, what this software also does is it also gives me the common tags or other keywords that have been used when making this video. And so I'm able to come over here and look at related searches. I'm able to look at, you know, so let me click on this one. So this is how to do, what's this one? How to do keyword research for YouTube videos, cliff tops. 
I don't know why that would be on there. But again, it says it's a poor video, but if I click weighted, it may be a different result. So you can play around with this tool for literally five or 10 minutes. You can number one, gain a lot of suggestions that are like how this one looks like a good one. This is a, a great suggestion. Obviously it's gonna be a similar type of audience. And again, look, I've got so many more suggestions here from the software. Now it says that 48 out of 100 is not a good score, right? If I was a general YouTuber, let's click weighted and see what this is for my channel. So still 48. So that one I would pass over. I wouldn't do that one. But again, at least I know. At least like the other way this works is without this score, I would I would have got that keyword and you sense my excitement. I'd be like, oh, it's a great keyword. And I would have gone and made a whole video about it. In reality, there's more chance I won't get any traffic for it than I will. And so I can now save myself a bunch of time and uh, not waste that. And I, can, and I can see down here, there's gonna be much more suggestions that I can click on and I'm able to find one that is a really, really good score. Now it's worth my time. It's worth my time doing that. Um, so anyway, would, it, like, was this helpful? Was this useful? I gave you a couple of different ways of doing it. If you wanna follow along and use this tool, then I will put a link in the top line of the description and the top comment. Um, it's an affiliate link, so I will get a, a commission for that, but it is the exact tool that I'm using. I made this video to show you the manual method that you can use, and then I wouldn't be doing my job correctly if I didn't share with you what I use to make my life easier and to get more views. I use this, as you can see, it's already on my YouTube channel. I use this exact software. Save me a bunch of time. Stop me wasting time on keywords that I won't get ranked for. So if you're making videos and not getting views, it could be that. And it allows me to steer my time and intention to videos that will really give me some push and some reach on my channel to the right people. So I hope if you pick up a copy of this, it's not expensive at all, and it's really, really beneficial. There's a whole bunch of other tools that are incorporated, but this is the main uh, feature that I use within that software. Uh, as always, go create a day in a life that counts. Always have more desires and excuses. I hope this serves you really well, and I hope this software, if you decide to pick it up, serves it really well too. Bye for now, and uh, have a great day.